We have been looking in my group at the regional impacts of global climate change, the change in the climate that will result from change in the chemical composition of the atmosphere, change in the concentration of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. And instead of focusing on the global scale, we have been looking at the regional scale. And the results of our research pinpoint a region where we think the impacts of global climate change will be quite severe in terms of temperature. However, instead of focusing on the regular temperature that everyone is used to, we are focusing on a variable we call the wet bulb temperature. And the wet bulb temperature measures temperature conditions and humidity conditions at the same time. And the reason we choose to look at the wet bulb temperature is because it's a measure that has direct impact on human health. For maintaining the inner temperature of a human body at around 37 degrees centigrade, you need to have wet bulb temperature conditions that are 35 degrees centigrade or less. And that would enable the body to get rid of the metabolic heat that gets generated. Approach and exceed 35 degrees centigrade, it would not be physically feasible for the body to get rid of that heat. And that would lead to hyperthermia and may lead to death for some of the people that may get exposed to that. So the main finding of this study is the projection that in cities and localities around the Persian Gulf, also known as the Arabian Gulf, that conditions in the future towards the end of the 21st century will be such that the wet bulb temperature will approach and exceed 35 degrees centigrade. I would like to emphasize, however, that exceedance of the 35 degrees centigrade will not be a frequent occurrence in the future, even under the business as usual scenario. Such rare heat waves are projected to occur only once every decade or every few decades. The same modeling results that we performed indicate that under scenarios in which we assume that serious mitigation efforts are being taken to reduce the emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, under those conditions, the impacts of global climate change on temperature conditions in Southwest Asia will not be as severe as in the case of business as usual scenario.